Hello everyone, I hope this video finds you well. Today is August 9th, so for anybody who's been following, um, who has a spiritual path and, or not, maybe not even a spiritual path that has been following the astrological calendar, then you'll know that yesterday was the peak um, of a period of time we call the Lion's Gate Portal. And what this means is that it happens once a year when our sun is in Leo. And this one was particularly powerful because we also experienced the new moon in Leo at the same time, as is my understanding. But in this case, it's the sun that is in Leo and it aligns perfectly with the star system Sirius. And so this would have been considered a very powerful time um, during ancient Egyptian times they actually would have viewed this as, a, as a, a new year in a sense because it was the first sign. Once Sirius was seen on the horizon again during the sunrise, I believe it was, it was a signal that the Nile was going to flood again, bringing prosperity and life and green uh, back to that area of the world. But in modern day times, so to speak, we view this as a time of great manifestation. Um, a time where you can harness the energies to bring about um, new growth, new experiences, new adventures, but in order to make way for the new, um, again, coupled with this beautiful new moon energy that we're still kind of in, it's a great time to let go of those things because oftentimes when we want to welcome new things into our lives, we have to make room. We have to allow for um, that new growth by letting things go. And so yesterday when I was doing my own personal practice uh, around the Lion's Gate portal and the energies that were there, I was strongly compelled to pull a card for my community. And if you are a member of my Patreon community, um, I also pulled a separate card for you guys and I will be typing that out. It'll be in written format and that'll go up on the Patreon page, hopefully a little later today. Now the deck that I have been using, um, and normally I work with runes and I work with oracle cards and I've really enjoyed the journey of discovering and it's gonna be reversed, but the Herb Crafters Tarot because this has allowed me to explore the tarot through the lens that I understand, which would be plant-based wisdom. And in this particular deck, uh, some of the terminology is a little bit different. So the card that I pulled, it was beautiful is uh, seaweed and you can see uh, you know a kettle of warm water filling up a bathtub filled with seaweed and in the traditional rider weight deck this would be the king of water i believe in this deck it's called and i believe it's spanish i'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation but the uh, curandera of water which would be healers and very much so this message is one of healing and like i did with my last plant-based message um, I just allowed the words to flow from the pen after I drew the card and I feel that this is a very healing message for us all and it both allows us to let go of something that no longer serves to make room for expansion and, and growth. Um, so hopefully you find this as inspiring and helpful as I did. As water flows through the mighty rivers of the earth, so too flow the emotions through us all. Running as deep in our veins as the waters of the world, we must flow with the ebbs and tides of their cycles. All things have cycles, beginnings, ends, ends that become beginnings, and so on. Please know that these feelings you have, whatever you are experiencing right now, these feelings do not define you. They do not represent you, they do not restrict you, and they do not control you. They are merely an experience that you are having. That is all. We are taught, programmed, that what we feel defines us. Boys do not cry. Girls are always proper. Oh, how we got it all wrong. The boy who cries is not defined by this. He is not a crybaby. No, he is simply experiencing sadness, grief, frustration. But we hold on to our emotions so tight, like walking into a deep lake carrying a heavy stone. 
We slip beneath the depths of it all and drown in the belief that we are defined by our emotions, that our experiences define us. Drop the stone. Allow the feelings to flow over you, but do not attach to them. Inside, let the waters and seaweed of the earth do what they do best. Nourish, heal, and soothe. What nourishment can be had from your experiences? What lessons are there? And what freedom can be experienced if you just let go of the stone? There is fear there, yes? What am I if I am not what I feel? The angry man, the anxious woman, the depressed child. What a beautiful discovery you are about to make. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope that Seaweed's message of understanding that we are not defined by what we feel, we are simply experiencing it. If you experience anger over and over again, you are not an angry person, but perhaps there's something in the anger that there is there to teach you. And once you learn the lesson, you can drop the stone of that anger. And so I hope, I hope that this helps. Um, I know it certainly helped me as someone who has struggled with emotions um, my entire life and being defined by them, especially, and, and anyone who has anxiety, depression, or any challenges in this area, you know you become defined by your emotions and not necessarily for the good. Know that they are not you and they don't represent you. They're just something you're experiencing. So allow them to be what they are and learn the lesson they're here to teach you. So thank you again, and I will see you all on the next video. Sending you lots of love.